Good morning. It's a Sunday. And there's old Grumpy makes my coffee over there. I've been thinking about something I wanted to share with you guys. You know, underneath the tower, I've swam down there many times. Are you done? Okay. I've been... In it's gotta have the last word. Oh my gosh. Noisy old thing. You gonna let me talk? All right, I'm gonna take this into the other room so I can actually get a word in edgewise. I have, sorry for the delay there, been thinking about something for a while that I thought I'd share with you guys. First, important things. Hmm. Good cup of coffee, guys. As I was saying, it's a Sunday. It's the Lord's Day. Thank you, Lord, for another day. I'm thinking about, um, because of all the creatures underneath the tower, of which there are many, about doing some dive trips. Um, because as a paddy scuba diver, um, I realized that you can actually get a educational credit, college credit, for doing dive work and earning additional capabilities as a scuba diver. Now underneath the tower where I've done everything from just sitting on the surface and floated there to dove down to the bottom, picked up a crescent wrench that I dropped one time. It's a bit of a breath to hold, but the young kids do it all the time. Uh, to the scuba diving underneath there. We've got the sharks, of course. Lots of sharks depending on when they're in the neighborhood. We've got the barracuda, of which there are always a lot, until the water gets really cold. And then I think they kind of move south. And we've got 10 million little bait fish, all different sizes and types. We have octopus, is the plural that octopi? Anyway, uh, we've got rays, which you have to make sure you don't get too close to. Uh, gosh, what else do we got? We've got lots of jellies. Jellyfish, uh, different times of year, come floating through. It's a reason to wear a good wetsuit. Those little boogers thing. Hmm. Anyway, there's a lot to see underneath there. And I thought if we were to maybe consider doing an educational dive trip on a, maybe go out on a dive boat early on a Saturday morning with a few divers, they can get a chance to get multiple dives in because we can lift them and lower them directly into the ocean. We've got the cable hoist that'll do that. And, um, can also get in a night dive or so when everything's out walking around. Yeah, we have lots of bugs. When I say bugs, I'm talking the clawless lobsters for the folks that aren't local. They have these big old horns on their head and they look like they're out of some bad town, Louie. But they taste really good. Anyway, it's an idea. So, um, obviously, on shore for a little bit longer. But I thought I would toss a couple of the images from yesterday morning. So uh, after this, without any more discussion, is some of yesterday morning. It was a beautiful day. If you want to see this, jump on explore.org. Go, go to YouTube and search for Frying Pan Tower. Explore. You'll see our live cameras. Water level, helipad, and down under, which is... Well, we got to go clean off again. Another thing to do while you're diving. Anyway, have a great Sunday. Take care. Call somebody you care about. Go call my brother. Yeah. Have a great one, y'all. Take care. the sunrise come up from the tower with a cup of coffee in hand. It's really quite incredible to see. It changes from grays to yellows to oranges to back to gray when the clouds are covering the sun again to just the most amazing sunrise and sunsets. 
definitely something to stare at for a while. Have a great day.